We tried it again, still the same thing. We drove down to Lyme Regis, weather changed. It was aborted before we even went out. On the third attempt, uh, we actually got out there. So we're taking all the kit out there, going out there, great conditions, a uh, bit overcast, and a little bit foggy, but we thought, right, we've got to go for it. So we kitted all up, hooked the plaques onto us and to the uh, flags. We've taken uh, the American Stars and Stripes down with us and we were going to put those and attach them both to the wreck. The first wreck that we attempted was 507. Um, got down onto it and we almost found it by bumping into it. The visibility was that bad. We had about a foot of visibility. It was black. Um, Found onto the wreck, crawled all over it, trying to find it. There's lots and lots of uh, lines because it's fished heavily and also lots of netting onto it. Swam around having a look on the, on the seabed and there's lots of debris down there, which is um, a lot of ammo cases, um, chassis, what's left of wheels and tyres and stuff like that. Swam along about 100 yards onto 100 feet onto it, sorry found a nice place to actually put the plug and then we uh, taped and fitted and uh, carabined the plate into place onto the wreck and then we sent a bag up above it with the flag on, tied that in, followed the flag up and then tied it to support the hull above. Um, we then had a little minute silence and at that time the tide was starting to turn so we bagged off and we went back and about 40 minutes later, through decompression, we were at the surface. Thought really, really well, everyone was really happy. Uh, very, very sombre dive. It's, I've dived hundreds and hundreds of wrecks that have been war casualties. But uh, the LSTs are a very, very eerie and spooky dive. There is just a vibe about them. Uh, I think it's maybe because it's such a, a great loss of life onto that. We went back to the hotel and uh, the next day we attempted to dive uh, 531 which got out to it but had another bad experience on there, couldn't get onto the wreck. So that was aborted and then the following day we actually got out onto it and dived 531. 531 got down onto there, a little bit more visibility, um, did exactly the same onto that, put all the plates on, brass plaques and the stars and stripes, swam around that, uh, there's a little bit more intact, uh, 507 is in two halves, uh, about 200 metres apart from each other, uh, a bit like the sort of Titanic when it sort of broke and went down in two places, and well, there's a big debris field in between the two. 531 um, is intact but heavily broken in the centre, midships. Uh, had a look around there, so I tied the plaques all in on there. We did another minute silence on that. And on that one, the tide turned really quickly, and we really had to get out of there. Uh, we drifted, I think, about two and a half miles when we were coming off that one. Uh, the boat took us on there. So that was diving the wrecks. Um, we came back, it's something we've been trying to plan for about a year to do. We did that in the spring of 2002. We sent some photographs over to Eugene, and I think then that's when I got involved with Laurie. And um, had lots of uh, lovely emails and letters uh, from a lot of you guys and a lot of the uh, veterans. Um, we didn't do this for any glory or anything, it was just something that it's a story that we got involved with, and the more you get involved with it, you get hooked.